Hey, welcome to my channel. Today, I am going recap drama, horror, sci-fi movie named A Quiet Place Day 1. This movie follows the terrifying onset of an alien invasion where deadly creatures attack anything that makes noise. As the world descends into chaos, the story focuses on the experiences of individuals and families struggling to survive in a newly dangerous environment. With the creatures being highly sensitive to sound, the survivors must navigate their new reality by maintaining absolute silence. So without wasting any more time, let's jump to the main video. In the beginning of the movie, we see a hospice for cancer patients in New York City. Sam, who is one of the patients, is participating in a group circle and is sharing a written piece in which she basically states that the entire facility is unpleasant. Despite the fact that her only companion is her cat, Frodo, one of the care workers, Reuben, makes an effort to become Sam's friend. For the purpose of an outing, Reuben takes Sam and the other patients into the city. Sam has a particular location in mind where he would like to purchase pizza. A children's puppet show is being watched by them, and Sam appears to be enjoying it at first. However, he quickly becomes upset when something unfortunate occurs while the show is being performed. A moment before Sam and Frodo begin to make their way out of the theater, Reuben informs her that they must begin their journey. When Sam looks around, he sees the other patients gathered together in the back of the bus. They are observing and hearing something that is taking place outside. At the same time that meteors are falling from the sky, military troops are beginning to arrive. Monsters from another world will soon start terrorizing the city and attacking its civilian population. After being thrown against a wall and fallen unconscious in the middle of the chaos, Sam is thrown against the wall. Along with Reuben and other survivors, Sam awakens in a shelter. Henri and other survivors are also present. Sam gives Reuben a hug before he overhears the military broadcasting a message for everyone to remain in their current location. This message also prevents the aliens from approaching civilians with their presence. When Sam is attempting to catch up with Frodo, he accidentally runs through a bell, which causes an alien to become interested in him. Although it bursts through the doors, Sam manages to avoid being discovered. Reuben makes an effort to figure out a strategy for returning to the hospice, but Sam is adamant about going to Harlem in order to satisfy his craving for pizza from Patsy's. Sam, Reuben, and Henri are able to observe the military bombing bridges from the rooftop of the building, which prevents any access to the city and prevents anyone from leaving. Henri starts to freak out one of the survivors, and while he is trying to calm him down, he almost yells loud enough to attract attention. Henri then slams his head against the wall, which ultimately results in the death of the survivor. A backup generator suddenly stops working and begins to make a loud noise. Reuben makes a dash to turn it off, but while he is successful in doing so, his shirt gets stuck with something in tears. Sam is horrified to learn that the noise is sufficient to attract an alien, which then brutally takes Reuben's life. In the morning, Sam takes Frodo with him and begins his journey to Harlem. On the way, she comes across two children and decides to give them some candy. In light of the fact that the creatures are unable to swim, they overhear the military making an announcement that boats on the southern side of the town are taking survivors. Even though Sam is walking in the opposite direction of the crowd, which is heading in the direction of the boats, the aliens are brought down by the size of the crowd, which causes another panic. Sam comes dangerously close to being crushed before she hides beneath a car, but she comes dangerously close to being crushed under it before she is able to escape. Frodo escapes to get some water, and while he is there, he comes across another survivor named Eric. Eric is a law student from England who is feeling scared by what is happening. On his way back to Sam, he follows Frodo. At the same time that it starts to rain heavily, they begin walking, which enables them to speak in a quiet manner. Eric is instructed by Sam to go to the boats. However, he ended up accompanying Sam back to her flat in order to get her pain medication. In addition to discovering that Sam's father used to play the piano, Eric was able to locate a collection of poetry that Sam had written. Cathartic screams were let out by the two individuals while thunderstorms and lightning were occurring. In the following day, Sam returns to her mission, and she unwillingly allows Eric to accompany her on this journey. 
They are forced to flee as the aliens approach closer because she makes a noise that causes them to do so. In spite of the fact that they are being pursued through a building, Eric is able to escape them by throwing a rock through a car and turning on the alarm. As they make their way through the sewers, Sam and Eric enter the subway tunnels and continue their journey. It is necessary for them to chase another alien before they can escape, but Sam loses consciousness in the process. In the church where they are hiding out, Eric brings Sam back to life. Eric goes out to find Sam's medication while Sam is resting, and Frodo makes his return in the process. Eric is able to make it back to Sam once they have successfully avoided the aliens and walked past them. She shares with him the story of how her father would take her to Patsy's for pizza after he would return from playing the piano at a jazz club in the neighborhood. The next morning, Sam and Eric walk to Harlem, but upon arriving, they discover that Patsy's has been destroyed by fire while they were there. During their walk to the jazz club, Eric goes out to find pizza from another restaurant, but he writes Patsy's on the box of pizza he brings back. After that, he captivates Sam by performing dance and a playing card magic for her, which undoubtedly leaves her feeling amazed. After that, Sam and Eric notice that there are boats in the nearby areas, and they begin to move in that direction. Following the discovery of a crowbar and starting of the process of smashing car windows, Sam hands Eric her jacket and instructs him to flee. As the aliens begin to move in her direction, Eric and Frodo are afforded the opportunity to make their way toward the boats. Eric makes the mistake of accidentally kicking a can, which brings the aliens toward him. However, he is able to jump into the water and make his way to the boats, where Henri and the other individuals pull him and Frodo with them. Eric then checks in the pocket and discovers a note from Sam. In the note, Sam tells Eric to take care of Frodo and to express her gratitude to him for assisting her and demonstrating to her that she still has one more chance to live. The streets of Harlem are empty as Sam moves through them. With understanding that she will pass away in the near future, Sam pulls out her headphones and plays her music at a high volume. The moment she smiles, a creature appears from behind her and descends.